What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to react to another one of Jubilee's videos, um, which is about straight A's versus flunking students. I'm Randy, I'm 15, and I'm going into my sophomore year. I'm Grace, I'm 16, I'm going into my junior year. Hi, I'm Tansy, I'm 16, and I'm going into my senior year of high school, and I'm also a freshman in college. Isn't it just find Cooper, it weird I'm that 18, they're labeling just graduated these just like flunking I'm students and straight A students as labels? As if that's any way to and define that, somebody that's just silly. Sophomore. I believe my grades define my intelligence. I definitely think my grades define like how smart I am. Like that's the biggest like security point I have like in, like as a person. And I've just always been smart and like I always want people to think I'm smart. Yeah, I believe like that's really true for me. I believe like some subjects will enable you to show your intellect in some way, shape or form, like math. But I do think that grades can show someone's intellect, whether it's, you know, understanding a concept or enabling themselves to, you know, grasp a subject. The first thing I want to get across is um, these people who think that grades define their intelligence, it might be okay, it might not be an issue in like high school or whatever where you have straight A's, you might be like the smartest person in your group, but when these people go to college, grad school or wherever, or you know, out in the real world, and they find that there are people far smarter than them, getting far better grades than them. Uh, these are the people that run into problems with um, insecurity, having imposter syndrome, and it's just a very negative mindset to have that's gonna bite you in the ass later. So I highly recommend that you don't adopt this mindset early on in high school or wherever of thinking that grades define your intelligence because they don't. There's so many different types of intelligence. Just the fact that you can, you know, take your time and learn a math concept means nothing about like tons of other practical skills in the real world. A doctor might know like everything there is to know about medicine, um, but when it comes to like making ice cream, they might not have a clue. So it's just silly to think that grades with the skill set required in school um, defines intelligence. That's just not true. Anyone can get good grades if they work hard enough. If you're the type of person where you can put your mind to something and never give up on it, you'll get that grade. So here's my take on the situation. I think that with hard work, I think that you definitely can significantly improve your grades. Some people, if they don't have like the basic knowledge or the standard knowledge required for their grade level, um, it's gonna take more time. So they might not go from like straight F's to straight A's but you can definitely show improvement. You can go from like C's to B's, B's to B's and A's. There's always gonna be those certain classes, certain teachers where no matter how hard you work, uh, the teachers just got it out for you or the grading system is just broken or whatever. But overall, I think you can show significant improvement with hard work. Are you self-conscious of your grades? No, I'm not self-conscious because I know there's a lot more students that are in my same boat who aren't dumb. They just have trouble comprehending certain subjects. Um, I kind of disagree with this. I think that it is true that some people can have more difficulty comprehending certain subjects, but I think that that's a little overblown. I think that with enough hard work, even unless you're like totally inept, like totally useless when it comes to like learning something, I think you shouldn't be getting Fs, you shouldn't be getting Ds. If you put in effort, you can at least get Cs and Bs. Um, from my experience, at least in high school, obviously if you bring like some people into medical school, it might be like daunting for them. But I think especially at the high school level, if you put in the work, you should be able to not flunk. Unless obviously special circumstances. My parents help me with my work. Um, I won't say my mom helps me with like my English work, my math, my science. When I was doing theater, she would help me memorize my lines. She would help me write the essays to like certain directors of the show. She pushes me to do it myself, which I'm glad about, but there are some times where I'm like, can you help me? And she's like, I don't know it either. I'm like, yeah. okay, that's fine. <laughs> you know, my parents don't like 
write my essays for me. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like my dad, you know, he dropped out of college. You know, it's not like he's going to be helping me with like yeah. my AP stats homework. Mom didn't even go to college. Yeah, but you know, it's like he will, I think they help me do my work in the sense of like, they keep me diligent. They are in a sense like instilling me with the right qualities to write those essays. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. I think this kid is on point. Um, that's 100% the biggest thing. People, it's not necessarily, I'm going to help you with your calculus homework. Um, although that could be minimally helpful, it's actually probably not that helpful um, from my experience with <laughs> my parents helping me. No offense, Dad, I'm sorry. Um, but it is helpful a little bit. But I think the bigger issue and the bigger help is definitely the parents keeping the kids on track. I think that's one of the biggest things. I deserve the grades I get. I do believe that I do deserve the grades I get, especially for the ones that I am failing, such as English. I'm not putting my 100% into the class. I'm probably giving like 50%, 75%, if that. I don't believe that I deserve the grades I get because I've had lots of group projects where it wasn't just me, and it's always been. <laughs> like Goddamn group work. Goddamn group work. I hate that shit. That's when grades aren't fair. Group work is bullshit. People who feel like they get bad grades that they don't deserve. Um, most commonly what I see is people who, let's say it's like Algebra 2 or something, and the school year started and they're really trying their hardest, but they just get like a C or a B. And they feel like I tried my best and I still didn't succeed. And I totally get where you're coming from and you didn't get the grade you deserve because you tried so hard. But your grades are not only a product of the work you're doing now, but they're a product of what you've been building for the last couple of years in Algebra 1 half, Algebra 1, all the prior years of math. If you weren't on the ball for those subjects, it's going to be harder for you to get A's in the Algebra 2 class you're in now. So I feel like people sometimes feel like they don't get the grades they deserve because they're, they're putting their all into the current year. Um, but unfortunately, School is like cumulative and it builds on each other. So if you're in your senior year of high school and you're getting B's despite trying so hard in your English class, it may be that you weren't um, trying as hard in prior years. But again, English is subjective bullshit. I'm not going there. Was it difficult to get straight A's through high school? Hell yeah. I'm not one of those naturally like smart people who can look at a book and instantly know. I think our education. First of all, who the hell are these naturally smart people that instantly look at a book and know their shit? Like, those people don't exist. Whether it's the flunking students who are looking at the straight-A students being like, you're naturally smart, you learn this shit by just looking at the textbook and you memorize everything, or it's straight-A students who, actually more commonly the straight-A students, who are like, I'm not like other straight-A students who automatically memorize shit. Nobody is like that. Maybe like a small proportion of the population has some brain abnormalities that nobody else has but for the most part like photographic memory or whatever but for the most part most people are putting in work for their straight A's. I am smart. There's so many things that define smart and it's not just video on this. smart or smart. You should go watch smart. it. I'll put it in the smart. description just knowledge, and I have a lot of knowledge, and I know a lot of things, and I value that knowledge, which I think is really important also to being smart. Yeah, I mean, it's how you use the knowledge that you have. I am smart, no matter what. Like, just because I'm getting an F on the test doesn't make me dumb. I can be book smart, I'm also street smart. Like, I know my way around, I know my place, and I know where I need to be. Yeah, to say you're smart is like, something that everybody should be able to say in themselves. Right. Because no matter what, even if you don't feel like, yeah, I'm the smartest person in the room, like you might you might not feel like that, but you're smart to yourself. Yeah, I don't know how many times we have to repeat this, that grades don't matter. I know everybody is saying this nowadays, it's a cool thing to say, but nobody freaking believes it. We still have these guys who get a B plus and end up crying. Like, really, I don't know what we have to do to make people actually start believing that grades don't define you. They're basically these things that in order to build our careers, we have to do decently well on them, but they don't define intelligence and getting straight A's doesn't make you better than someone would C's. Fortunately, that lesson is not going to come easy and um, people are just going to cry when they get C's and people are going to be happy when they get A's and then insecure when Smarter straight A kids come around. It's just an endless cycle. Oh, it's done already. That's a quick video. <sighs> That's it for this video. I actually really enjoyed that video. Jubilee is making some good 
content nowadays that uh, I'm enjoying reacting to. That's it for me. The only other thing that I'll mention is that if you're looking for more Med Bros content, feel free to check out Herman's video. I'll put it right here, yeah. Uh, it's him medically diagnosing the Avengers. It's a super interesting video. I really enjoyed watching it as a viewer. So if you want more content and you want to learn something, 